Well, Detroit is the motor city, of course. Reality, though, is most cars, even those made by the big three, aren't necessarily made here. Take Ford, for instance. You buy a Fusion or a Fiesta, most likely it came here uh, by rail from two plants in Mexico. And here's where they end up. Ford's rail facility in Woodhaven. These are live pictures from the facility from Sky 4. But it turns out something else is coming along with those shipments of vehicles. Rod Maloney has a look at an alarming find Homeland Security made at the Woodhaven rail yard. We had heard in the recent weeks that the Mexican cartels were using Ford trains to ship drugs into the United States. They went as far as Ohio before, but guess what? Now they're here. This picture comes from a local Ford viewer who'd happened upon the raid yesterday. Every federal agency you can think of descended on Ford's marshalling center at Vreeland and Hall Road, just west of I-75 in Woodhaven. In a number of auto hauling rail cars, Ford employees found bales of pot that when netted together, came in at just under 300 pounds. They called Ford Security that brought in Woodhaven police and the feds. At the crossroads of commerce and crime, Ford put out a statement today saying that it takes this situation very seriously, that it's working with Homeland Security, Customs, local police departments, and they say Ford's working with them. But after that, Ford's not saying much of anything. The Fed said Ford employees went about the business here of searching 200 cars taken off the trains to see if any drugs found their way into the cars. They found none. But that's not much comfort for Ford because it needs to find out whether any of its employees are involved in the rail drug shipping operation. So what do the feds do now? Well, they start looking to see if perhaps some of the cartel employees missed a pickup somewhere because these were easily seen inside these these uh, trains and those are highly secured trains you can't just walk into them so they have a lot of questions about who was doing this how was doing how they are doing this and where to go with this investigation but rest assured now the second time in two weeks they want to find out for sure well rod we had the these pot seizures two weeks ago in ohio different from what what's happened here then yeah, they believe it is different in that two weeks ago, there were these sort of half moon shaped packages of pot that were stuffed into wheel wells in the vehicles. So that shows that that's inside the plant or somebody having access to the car between the plant and the rail yeah, car. Yeah. In these, they were just stuffed into the rail car. Dramatically different. Now, it could be the same cartel. We don't know. But that's what the Fed certainly are trying to find out. Well, the transport's going to get a lot more scrutiny, no doubt about it. All right, Rod.